Hi guys, Jasmo here and today I want to talk about the Scourge League and give you some tips and tricks on how to use it efficiently and how to kind of cheese a part of this uh, League mechanic. It's a very very good mechanic and people who are saying that it is not rewarding are really missing the point of how this is supposed to work. It's an extremely 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 rewarding League mechanic. It's one of the best League mechanics honestly that we've ever had. It's so well made and it's so crazily rewarding once you start juicing the content it's it's really absolutely insane like people basically while leveling they enter the uh, nightmare a couple of times and they're like they don't drop chaos so they're like oh this is not rewarding but actually if you juice it properly it's absolutely insane so um first of all let me show you a couple of tricks you can do in terms of uh zoning in and out of that so uh, if you have your, your crucible full uh any skills that you start casting, you can actually precast on everything, right? So things are gonna get stunned and then you can precast on them. So if you're playing mines, you drop your mines down first. If you're playing totems, you drop your totems. If you have, like, if you're doing doing slams, you can do your war cries first. And if you're playing like me, for example, I got some totems and toxic rain pods. I can basically drop the three totems that I have, start spamming this, right? So I'm spamming AOE all around me and then I switch into the nightmare. So I have full damage all around me going all already while I'm shifting into the nightmare. Uh, so what you want to do is basically clear as fast as you can as many monsters as you can obviously right because that's gonna give you uh, the most loot. But there are other also some things that you want to take into consideration. For example the monsters will respawn but there will not be as many monsters as there were in the first place. So the first time you shift it's gonna have a lot of packs. The second time you shift in the same place, there also are gonna be some packs that are gonna respawn, but it's not gonna be as many. So it's better if you run into a new location where you haven't been yet. The map that you see here that I'm discovering is separate for a nightmare and for the regular map. Uh, in the nightmare, it, the nightmare is basically like a second map that you're getting. You're, you're basically getting two maps per map, every single map. It's an insane league mechanic so you're getting double the monsters in your map pretty much uh, they scale for example you can have uh, delirium monsters appear in the nightmare and so on so there is a lot of stuff that can appear there as well uh, you can have beyond monsters uh, so there's going to be definitely crazy scaling with that. Um, and then uh, you will notice here that I have this debuff, right? So that uh, so that buff, it's actually also a buff, right? Because the debuff makes it so that I take 1% more damage uh, with from hits and ailments from the monsters. Uh, but also I have 1% quantity per stack. And also I have 1% more rarity as well as 0.5% more corruption absorbed by items. So that corruption absorbed by items is this. Uh, basically the items here, the maps, the two items that you can put here, they will be uh, absorbing this corruption faster and getting the, the corruption, uh, corruption modifiers, scourge modifiers quicker uh, if you are pu pushing for more uh, scourge, right? So right now I have uh, empty uh, blood vial, right? So what I want to do is I want to go clear some more monsters fill that in and then whenever I can switch again I want to switch and go somewhere where I haven't went yet right so that's basically what you want to do you want to make sure that you for example go to full ideally or like close to full you don't really want to overkill once you go to full you basically want to stop right so as I kill here this is what I want to stop so this is what I want to shift and then I want to just kill as much as I can and if I notice for example let's say this was a dead end I just shift back. Don't waste the blood that you have here. You can shift in and out as many times as you want. This is something that people are definitely not using enough. You can basically start, you can do just this, right? I can just sit here, right? I can just spam this. I can shift for a second, kill everything, and then I can shift out, right? After like a second, when this cooldown disappears, you can shift back. So you can abuse the fact that you can like pre-stack so much stuff you can also stun everything as you're shifting and then you can kill it and then shift back right if if for example you're at a high amount of stacks you're taking too much damage and you're afraid of dying you can just do stuff like that right um, so definitely make sure that you're using this efficiently don't run too much with this being full because again then you're losing the juice uh, because it doesn't stack beyond let's say it's called a hundred percent of the of the crucible blood stack 
So at this point, now I would want to shift, right? So I would want to just do this and shift now and uh, kill as many monsters as I can. And as the build gets faster, this build is going to get so much faster, by the way. Uh, it's, and already it's pretty good, but it's going to be really, really nice. Uh, you want to basically kill as much as possible, as fast as possible. And then as you can see right, right now, I'm at 100%. So right now, this is where I'm basically taking double damage from monsters, which if you have a tanky character is actually not that crazy. Like you can actually have a really, really tanky character that will be fine with like 100, 200%. And that's what I recommend actually playing if you want to do well in this league mechanic. There is a reason why I'm playing a champion and why we have so many defensive nodes. We have the fortify, we have so much armor and evasion. Uh, while I'm running and clearing, I have like, I have 40K evasion. I have, I have 57K evasion, I think, when I have everything up, like with flask and everything. Uh, so the character is very, very tanky right now. Feels very nice to run through these. And definitely that is something that I recommend. I don't recommend playing a glass cannon character because you're not going to be able to take full advantage of this because once you die you lose the blood so uh, you definitely don't want to waste uh, this insane multiplier to quantity and rarity so the this this thing basically this quant and rarity multiplier makes it so that the more you juice your map the more times you'll be able to enter the nightmare which means the more stacks you will gain so the the second half of the map where you will have like 100 or 200 stacks you can easily go to like 300 stacks in very very heavily juiced maps and that is where the money is going to be you're going to have many league mechanics stacked stacked on top of each other huge density with beyond portals everywhere and you're just going to basically stack this like crazy to 200 or 300 and you're going to be dropping much more uh, if you than if you were just playing a regular map not to mention that you're getting so many monsters from every single time that you're shifting into this league mechanic so uh, i think the league mechanic is extremely rewarding it is extremely fun and satisfying to like shift in and out of the nightmare um, and it's really nice that you can customize things and go for the items as well right when it comes to the tree uh there are uh, nodes here that you unlock basically as you are doing the skirt just basically interact with the league mechanic and you're automatically going to level this thing right so basically this counts your xp that you're gaining while killing the monsters inside of the nightmare uh, so only by doing that you can level it there are crazy uh, things like pr plus one crucible slot. Uh, you can uh, you can cook the maps, right? Cooking the maps is definitely uh, something that uh, I'm gonna try to figure out now because it seems like it's actually better. Like it's switching you back and forth automatically. It's actually really good. It's not bad at all. Um, and in terms of like the backtracking and picking up items, make sure that you pick up items if you're going backwards. Like let's say if I'm if I'm was gonna like go backwards and clear in the direction where I came from, uh, then I want to pick up stuff on the way. But if I'm going forward, then I don't need to pick up stuff because I will still go there in the real map, and that's where the things will be. Um, Personally, I went for the uh, faster corruption of all the pieces. Then I went for the ability to transform unique points. I went for a few of the chances to get extra link and extra socket. Then I went for chance uh, for transforming to add an explicit modifier. This is basically 20% chance to exalt an item. Uh, then we've got also 8% uh, chance to grant a higher tier of the beneficial modifiers. Then we've got plus one slot. Uh, maps absorb 25% more corruption and then the next thing I would like to go for is probably this thing uh, This is I think second dream furnace slot. So you're gonna be able to cook two maps at a time I think um, and then this thing chance uh, to grant an additional beneficial modifier This is the insane part right because that means you're gonna be getting like two two normal uh, mo scourge modifiers like negative positive, but then also maybe extra positive right and that also can be even higher tier potentially if you have this stacked right so you can potentially stack the luck in your favor and we'll see i'm gonna definitely scour through the list of the modifiers and see what's best to cook and i'm gonna let you guys know in the next video uh, but that's it basically wanted to share a few tips and uh, talk about the league mechanic because i think people are really underestimating it i heard people like talk about this league mechanic as if eh, it's all right like it doesn't seem that rewarding no it, it actually 
insanely rewarding. People worry about these um, items that drop from the Nightmare, uh, the Scourge items. I basically ignore them. Uh, they are on my filter just so that I can see them, but they are like, I made them small and every now and then if I want to hover over them, I can look at them, but you can safely hide them from uh, your loot filter because usually they're not going to be worth picking up or even looking at. Uh, you can pick them up for alterations and so on, uh, but I just have them just out of curiosity because I want to see what mods are there but later on I'm basically gonna remove them from my filter and not worry about them they're not really meant to be like an impactful or significant part of the reward the reward is the fact that you have an insane quantity and rarity scaling on the map and basically it doubles the monsters in your map it's probably the most insane juicing league that we've had since delirium it's absolutely insanely crazy um, but that's it i'm enjoying this uh, my build currently is 89 got my six link uh, plus two with chaos dot multi short bow running with queen of the forest and trying to work on uh, some of the other items so that i can start dealing real damage and uh, progressing to the red map i think i'm missing four more watchstones and then i'm basically done with the atlas right now i'm just farming like uh, yellow maps with 100 percent increased chance to uh, have June uh, missions because I want to uh, get flasks to 28% quality for the next stage of this build but that's going to be something I'm going to cover when I talk more about this build. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time.